Hey, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect and welcome to this tutorial about polar arrays. Can we make polar arrays in Blender? Can we use something like that? Before anything, what is a polar array? What can we do with that? To give you some context, let me show you uh, one uh, example on how to use the polar array from one of my books. This one is from a book about AutoCAD 2025 and I have a simple example here on how to use polar arrays. I have this drawing of a block, it's a chair, and a circular table. With the polar array, I will distribute copies of this chair around a point. And as a result, you will have this type of drawing. You will be using the polar array. You can see the array creation tab here on the AutoCAD 2025 ribbon. Can we do something like this in Blender? Let's uh, find out. One of, one, of, one of the first things that many uh, designers, architects, engineers, or uh, artists try to do here when coming from a CAD software is to look for a, for a polar array in the array modifier. And uh, unfortunately, there is nothing like a polar array here in the array modifier. It seems natural that, well, in the array modifier, we'll probably find something with a polar array option. But no, we have to use uh, other solutions or other uh, workflows to create this type of distribution around a point. Uh, you can use instances, you can use geometry nodes. Let's see how to use instances. And the first thing that we need is a victim. In this case, it, it will be this chair. And the second thing is an object with many vertices uh, with a circular shape. We need a circle. If you press Shift A and come here into the mesh circle, you can create this circle. Beware, uh, be careful not to go into curve circle. It won't work with a curve. It needs to be a mesh. Create the circle. You can choose the number of vertices like Eight. Uh, just don't use uh, a lot of circles because your uh, furniture objects or your three models will probably overlap. I'll be using six for this example. And, and the next thing that we need is to create a parenting relation between the 3D object and the circle. Select the object first, press and hold the shift key and select the circle and press control P. It will create a parenting relation and choose vertex as your reference. And the next step is to select your circle and open here the object tab and look for instancing. It's the object tab in your properties editor. And under instancing, press the vertices option. And look to that, we have a polar array. And uh, like my previous example, you can see that this option here, we have the chairs uh, rotating around that point. And we can do the exact same thing here in Blender if you enable this option, the align to vertex normal. It will rotate your objects and they will stay aligned with the center piece of your array. And if you want to make those objects a real, they are instances. If you press Ctrl A, you have an option here to make instances uh, real. And now they are individual objects. You can see that we have many different copies of that chair. And this is how you can create a polar array in Blender, just like AutoCAD. And this is it. I hope you liked this tutorial. Uh, if you find it useful, if you uh, think it might help someone else, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of the future tutorials. See you next time. Bye.